irony is that most of the stores that were destroyed during the riots were owned by black people. That's stupid, though. I mean, why trash your own neighborhood? Well, that's my point. It's an irrational act. It's like an expression of rage by people who feel neglected and turned away by the system. Exactly. I mean, it's like we had in Watts or right. the riots in Chicago in 68. It's crap. I don't buy that for a minute. Calling a riot an irrational expression of rage, that's such a cop-out. It's opportunism at its worst. It's, it's a bunch of people grabbing any excuse they can find to go and loot a store. Nothing more. You know, the fact that these people ripped off the stores in their own communities, all that reflects is the degree to which these people have absolutely no respect for the law at all, and certainly no concept of, like, community or, or civic responsibility. Now, wait a minute. White people commit crimes against white people, too. Yeah, but they're not offing each other in record numbers all over America. Look at the statistics, for Christ's sakes. It's one in every three black males is in some phase of the correctional system. Is that a coincidence, or do these people have, you know, like a racial commitment to crime? <laughs> Not only that, they're proud of it. Well, maybe it says something about prejudice in the judicial system. Yeah, if you want to talk about criminal statistics, you might want to take a look at the social inequalities that produce them. Yeah, yeah, you know what? That's exactly what I hate, because what you're doing, Davina, is taking one thing and calling it something else and just, you know, alleviating the responsibility that these people have for their own actions. You know, it's like saying, it's not a riot, it's rage. It's not crime, it's poverty. It's just nonsense. Bullshit. You know, it's exactly what happened in this trial, too, because... The media twisted things around, so people got all focused on, you know, these cops and whether or not they were going to get convicted and whether Rodney King's civil rights had been violated. I mean, everybody lost sight of old Rodney King himself. I mean, the guy's a multiple felon. By his own admission, he's high as a goddamn kite, driving 120 miles an hour down the highway. He gets pulled over by a bunch of cops, and, and, and he attacks them. He attacked police officers. That's the bottom line. And he walked. Yeah, and there's some Yahoo there with a video camera who turned it on halfway through so that all we see is them hitting him. Exactly. You know, you got your pal and coon winding up and cracking him with billy clubs and for saying, you know, kicking him in the back of the skull. So it looks severe, you know? And people are going, oh, this poor guy. This poor guy who attacked four cops and those cops end up on the stand defending themselves for using absolutely standard textbook self-defense procedures. I don't think that the tape showed that at all. Oh, you didn't think so, huh? And what, you're an authority, Ma? <laughs> Lily, what do you think? Oh, I, I did think that the police used their clubs rather excessively. Who are you to say what's excessive? I think it was totally appropriate. I think they're in a better position to make that judgment call than you are. In fact, we as society grant cops a certain amount of authority to make those calls because we acknowledge that, that their job is difficult and dangerous. You know, unfortunately, very few people like... Respect that. Respect that authority. Look who's talking about respect here, Mr. Junior KKK. Oh, what? I mean, that you need it. What? No, I want to go to college, Derek. Davina. You should learn to listen. Derek. Okay? I didn't say I respect Derek. any laws. I acknowledge a cop's authority. I don't respect any laws that let monkeys like Rodney King back on the street. Second of all, I am not, as you well know, a member of a low-rent, disorganized bunch of rednecks like the fucking KKK. <laughs> Please. Oh, so really. take your head out of your ass. You've, you've gotten off the point. <laughs> I had a point. I, that wasn't even the point. Do you have one? What is your point, Derek? All right, think about this. Think about this. If Danny had been walking across the street that night, and Rodney King had plowed into Can him... Can we just drop this Rodney King thing? Mm -hmm. We're having a discussion. We're having a nice discussion, right? If Rodney King had been driving along, hopped up on Shivers, Regal, and PCP, and had killed Danny, you'd be singing a very different Why tune about the force of the anybody in the tapes? And neither did you. He didn't happen to kill anybody, thank God. Put it down, okay? I don't want to see it. Thanks. He had, though, I mean, come on, think about it. A few monkeys had run some kid over. Everybody would have a very different opinion of this whole matter. You know, they'd be focused on, on Rodney King and not on these officers, but instead, he just attacked a few cops. And so all of a sudden, it's hands across America for this fucking total son of a bitch. I mean, it blows my mind. We're so hung up on this notion that we have some obligation to help the struggling black man, you know? Cut him some slack until he can overcome these historical injustices. Like, it's crap. This stuff you guys are saying just perpetuates it. All this liberal nonsense, you know? Everyone's turning and looking the other way while our country rots from the inside out. I mean, Christ, Lincoln freed the slaves. What, like 130 years ago? How long does it take to get your act together? Jews have been persecuted for over 5,000 years. Are you saying that it's wrong to feel sensitive about anti-Semitism? I get that. I'm with you. I'm with you all the way, baby. I'm so sick of these liberal hypocrites. 
Oh, here we go again. I love this part. This hey, is great. Hey. Well, look at the way that this scapegoat of Chief Case. I mean, you tell me they would have come down that hard on Black Willie Williams. Exactly. No exactly. way, because that videotape would have sent us to get rid of Gates. Yes. No, no, you cannot. Don't interrupt. Excuse me, I was talking. I, I listened to you. Don't interrupt her. Yeah, well, do you think you are? She's right in the middle of making a point.